Part 12, Kata Essential Training, we're gonna discuss sketching rotation. So if you haven't checked my last video regarding translation, I highly recommend that you do this because the functionality will be very similar. We're gonna see that the input value for translation definition will be the same just like rotation. We're just gonna rotate and not translate those. So to get started, I will jump into Kati. I'm already within a sketch. I will initially define a cylindrical elongated hole. So let's see, I will roughly position it over here, something like this. I will change the values. So for the small radius, I will set it to 50. The angle I will set to 90 and the large radius to 50. Now, I would like to also center this along the horizontal axis. So to do so, I can select that point, the horizontal axis, go to constraint definition and set this to be coincidence. But now I would also like this to be equidistant. So that point where we have the tangency and this point, along the horizontal axis. To do so, it is important that you select first one of the points, second, the other point, and only last the area, in this case, the direction vector for that. Afterwards, if you're gonna go to construction definition, we're gonna see that we have the possibility to add symmetry over here. So keep that in mind when you are constraining your sketches. So let's jump to rotate. As you can see, rotate looks just the same as uh, translation. So we're gonna have the duplicate, the number of copies, and we can either choose to have it duplicated. So let's discuss those. Maybe I will select this to be the direction for copy, and I will put another one over here at 90 degrees. So as soon as I will click this, I will see that the original copy disappeared. So that is because I don't have the duplicate mode on. I will set it now to three instances. Again, I will define this axis and afterwards I can change the angle value. If you want to change the snapping, just like for translation is currently set to five. So that's the step mode we can have that disable and we're gonna have floating values for the angle. Or we can go back to step, but as we can see, the step is from five to five increment. We can go change step and we can either go for a predefined one like 15, five or one, or we can specify in a new one. For example, maybe I want three degrees and we're gonna see that now we're gonna step between uh, t three degrees. So I will change that back to, to five. We can also add a range. So in this case, we can go for the inferior range to be zero included, superior range, let's say 95, just as a case study. We're gonna get this warning, warning that 265 is out of range. Parameter value is going to become 95. Do you agree? Yes. And now if I'm gonna move my mouse, I'm gonna see that the maximum value will be 95. So over here, after 90, since the step is set to five, 95 will become zero. So that's why I put 95, not 90 over there. But I can still move around within that range from zero to 90. Okay, so that's regarding those. We also have the other, so we have uh, keep internal constraints. If I'm gonna duplicate this around the same axis, I'm gonna see that also the copy will have the same uh, values. So we have the same range. It ca we can further adjust if we want to. And we also gonna have that constraint. So we have tangency over here between this arc and the uh, the end ones as well as here. So each element has four of those internal tangencies. 
if you're gonna go a little bit uh, ahead we're gonna see that we also have keep external constraints where in this case i don't have any constraints that are external i will maybe position this one so we're gonna see that this will be overwritten to be 35 since i already have that position to be exactly symmetrical but we don't have this value so the horizontal length maybe i want this to be 150 we're gonna have that value added if i'm gonna start to rotate this and keep the external constraints as well we're gonna see that we're gonna have those also position over here and we can then further change that value and to showcase the last option the keep original constraint mode i will define a new profile so I will make an oriented rectangle. I will set it something like this. I will put the values to be 50 and 50. I will slightly adjust the position, something like this. And I will just add a constraint between this point and the horizontal axis. And I will set this to be 100. Now, if I will copy this sketch, go to rotation, Initially, I will not check keep original constraint mode on and we're going to see that if you're going to rotate this around the vertical axis, so at 40 degrees, we're going to have those values. And now we have each point constrained. That means if I will select this sketch, for example, and I will rotate it, I will see that that constraint is no longer enabled exactly within that point so i can move this sketch freely if i will have that unchecked uh, not unchecked checked sorry so keep original constraint mode on and again i will define the same axis 40 degrees value if i will try to select this and have this rotated i'm gonna see how that point is constrained over there so that's the main difference for the last check where we have the keep original constraint mode on. Okay, so this is the rotation definition. Just like with translation, I didn't discuss this within this video, we can select multiple elements. So for example, if I want the rectangle and the elongated hole, I can do a large selection, grab both of those or even more than two. I can then specify the direction for the rotation and I can have those added within the sketch. Okay, so I hope you find this kind of content useful. The main idea of this course is to go and create a separate video for each one. So the following one will be operation scaling for sketches. That will be the following video. Also, if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider to, to subscribe. I'm currently trying to convert watch time from uh, subscribers. So as we can see, I'm currently at 4%. It used to be 3.8 a few days ago. So it's slowly increasing. So please consider subscribing if you like this content. That will also motivate me to further continue this course because it will take a lot of time to go within each feature within Katia and present those. Okay, thanks for watching.